you be the partner, Captain? Yes, that's him. Officer, Officer Day, sir. How does it feel, uh, first day out of the academy, going up against the uh, juvenile cop killer? Cop killer? You don't know. <laughs> Officer Macy died ten minutes ago. Uh, can you give us the details of the capture? Yeah. Just caught him, that's all. And he had your partner's gun? Yeah, yeah, he did. I, uh, I should have blown a little punk to hell. Can we poach you on hey, the officer's That's real. That's real. Take your time, Mrs. Anderson. You coaching, Riley. I don't need to be coached, young man. They're there. All three of them. Which is the one that took your purse and knocked you down, Mrs. Anderson? You're putting words in her mouth, Nichols. You've got a point. Use it in court. Right now, keep your mouth shut. That's definitely him. Daniel Ludwig, stand up, please. There's no doubt in my mind. He was such an animal. All right, take him, Betty Boy. Now, you're willing to testify, Mrs. Anderson? Of course. How else can we stop hoodlums like that? Yes, ma'am. I'll be in touch, Mrs. Anderson. Thank you. You forget something? Okay, we're gonna file murder and robbery charges on Danny Boy, and we're gonna kick the other two loose. But they were in on it. No, we kick them, Riley. They didn't touch her, they didn't pull the trigger. Conspiracy, principles, accomplices. Come on, Sam, you're a prosecutor. You know the law. Yeah, I know the law, but nobody goes for it down a juvenile court. Come on, now, we're gonna shoot our best shot on Danny Boy, huh? That old lady handled you good, Danny. Yeah, right, too bad he's got a free pass, huh? You know, like we've all walked before. Yeah, I'll just be glad to get out of here. Yeah? And I'm still thinking maybe you're the reason I'm here. Hey, honey, you, you know I wouldn't say nothing. Come on, Danny boy. All right. But I want to walk this time, too. And you guys are going to do what it takes to help me. You got that? Like always. Yeah. Come in. You wanted to see me, sir? Yeah, sit down, sit down. Why didn't you tell me last night you knew the gun was empty? You didn't ask. What you said out there to the press, that was way off base. I'm sorry about that, sir. Uh, what did you want me to say? Well, according to this report, you did exactly the right thing. Within the law, and within our shooting policy. Well, everybody had me convinced I was wrong. Their minds were made up, still are. Yeah, well, my mind has been changed, Singer, and I owe you an apology for jumping the gun. That uh, doesn't help too much with the troops, though, does it? Well, they'll get over that. What's important is that you did what was right within policy, and that's what matters here. Is that all, sir? Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's hot. I feel better. Well, the night you'll have a hole in your stomach, but don't let it bother you. Mind your business, Max. You came here to see me again, didn't you? I turned you down already. Doctor, you don't know me from Adam. I'm just a guy with an Adam Shea case from the network. But I'm on a spot because of you. Let me explain. Hey, I'm listening. 
You know that newspaper article? Hey, old uh, lady Anderson. Anderson. Sure, sure. You got a big mouth. I told my boss, and on the basis of that, I'm going to get you. I'm supposed to deliver you for my TV program. Hey, old lady Anderson. The police. Anderson. You ain't crazy. Right. That's crazy, right. are you? Get me the police. Please. You don't want to talk to the cop. An emergency. Hello? Lady! Hello? You got your fat mouth shut? Uh, please, won't someone come on the line? <laughs> Hello? Hey, old lady Anderson, you still breathing? Like you're awful quiet. <laughs> 